in the mood for a trip down memory lane, then do I have a great suggestion for you. So if you're looking for a great American Pale Ale, and this one will surely, definitely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie, and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world, and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether there is something new you're looking to try or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending these next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review many kinds of beer and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like this one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. Now, Today, I'm going to go back to the one that started it all. It is credited with having started the uh, craft beer industry in the United States, and uh, it is none other than Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. You got it, my friends. Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, and uh, I will talk a, a little bit about this beer as we start pouring it here, which by the way, I'm going to use a tulip to pour my pale ale here today, my Sierra Nevada pale ale. And uh, you always hear my, uh, my advice, make sure you have the right glass for your beer. It helps with all different kinds of beer. And if you want your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses, look in the description below for, uh, for a link to help you get your own set of glasses. So now, this one, as you heard me say, yes, it is, it is definitely, an, um, you know, it is called an American Pale Ale. They call it Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. However, I've always thought of this beer more as an IPA myself. And uh, I know I'm not alone in this, uh, in this thought. Sorry, that pour was not my best pour for sure. But, you know... When, um, when you look at the, the history of, of this beer, and by the way, it goes back to, the, to 1980 is when uh, Sierra Nevada first came out with their flagship beer, uh, the Pale Ale. And so I probably started, I probably, we probably met, so it's been a, it has a 40 year story, right? A 40 year history. And um, we probably met about 20 years ago. It is 2020, I probably, uh, found out about uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale in the, in the 2000, uh, around the 2000, probably 2001, but I think it was probably 2000 when I was at um, in West Lafayette, Indiana, getting into the world of craft beer with my friend Ben's there. So um, I am proud to say that I've known this beer for half its life, right? Half its history. And uh, it is definitely credited with the beer that ignited the American craft beer movement. So it is a great beer. And like I said, I've always thought about it. I've always, you know, enjoyed it as an IPA. So let's get started, right? We always start with the three C's of appearance, color, clarity, and carbonation. Well, bright amber color is what I would call it. Yep, amber color for sure. Clarity, this is a very clear beer. No, you know, no haziness at all to it. And um, it is, it definitely has some, some action there. Some carbonation uh, towards the side of, of the glass. So not a lot at this point. When I was pouring it, obviously it was a little more. Now look at that big head of foam and that, uh, you know, retention there. So it definitely has a, a lot of foam uh, qualities and a lot of retention, and I'm still pouring it, just so you know. 
And this is a 12 ounce can. You can get it in bottles and you can get it in um, actually 16 ounce uh, cans. So a lot of variety here. And by the way, this is the only craft beer that you can find and buy in all 50 states. Did you know that? Yeah, that's a nice tidbit for you. So that means if you've never had it, you're missing out, but you know you can find it in your state. So go out and grab it, grab a pack, and you can thank me later. That's what the comments are for, right? Now, what, where do we go next? The aromas. That's where the tulip can help us a lot. So let's go for these aromas here for a sec. Oh yes, a lot of those of that hop character comes forward in the nose. And by the way, this is the beer that made Cascade hops famous as well. So, like I said, it, it ignited a whole industry. And this, it's a lot. There's a lot of Cascade hops here, which is, you know, it was a uh, an unknown kind of hops hops back in the 1980s, and uh, they were just experimenting with a few different strains of hops. And Cascade hops is what they went with. And you. I've been enjoying that aroma for quite some time now. So definitely a lot of that hop character comes through. And however, there's a little bit, there, there's a, you know, a decent malt build there in the aroma to balance that. So it's nothing overpowering the other, but definitely nice aromas, very, and you can definitely uh, prepare for what's coming. So let's taste it. Let's see what we are looking at. By the way, I've had this plenty of times, but I'm doing this taste here with you, so let's go through it. Oh yes, it's been a while actually. I've had many of the other Sierra Nevadas um, over the years. I don't remember the last time I had Pale Ale, probably last summer. Um, but yes, it has that, that character that I love when it starts changing through your palate, right? So at the beginning, the tip of the tongue, you get that bitterness, which by the way, they claim this is, I think they say it's about 38, um, you know, uh, IBUs, in, you know, bitter units, which is not a lot. And that's probably why, you know, you can compete with normal IPAs, but it feels, you know, it feels, I would call it moderately, moderately bitter. So definitely uh, it has some uh, hoppy character there. Then the middle of that taste was a lot more, uh, I would call it lighter, a little bit malty, bready malt, kind of that. And then the back of it, it's really bitter again. So starts bitter, gets a little bit malty and lighter, and then it ends really bitter again. Now, you come to me for something that makes you look like a real connoisseur. And, and I always like to say that's the food pairings, right? Now, pale ales, I'm going to talk about this beer, like I said, I'm going to talk about it like it is an IPA, because it does have that kind of character. So, pale ales or, you know, American pale ales or IPAs, normally you, you know, there's some spicy foods and some heavy foods that you want to pair with, uh, with this beer, because you can either find some complements or, or some contrast in those flavors with the hoppy character of beers. Now, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale is such a versatile beer that it is, you can almost, you can almost not do it, um, not, not go wrong with this beer because it is so versatile. So yes, I'm going to have some specific recommendations here for you and they're going to sound like big dogs here. For example, I'm going to say this beer goes great with bratwurst and especially if you do you know, pale ale infused bratwurst, right? If you do that with this beer, forget about it, game over, drop the mic, right? That's going to be a great pairing there for, you know, especially now in the summer months when you're grilling outside, enjoying the, the outdoors, that's gonna be great. A grilled cheeseburger where, specifically where that cheese is cheddar cheese, that's going to be amazing as well. And I'm going to go out and say it, pizza. Yes, what beer doesn't, you know, beer and pizza, that's like, you know, everybody knows that. Yes, however, 
you can, I'm going to go, and I've had this with the, the, what I call the meat lover's pizza, right? So whether, you know, you have sausage, pepperoni, ham, any kind of, of meat that you want to add to that meatball, maybe, and you have a bacon, you have a nice greasy pizza like that, and the carbonation and the hoppy character of this beer is gonna cut through that, right through that fat, and it's going to help you enjoy all those flavors from all those cheeses and the, the meat. So those three are my, my big suggestions here, but honestly, there's a lot of things you can do with, with Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Go for some Mexican dishes with some heat, Go with you did, you know some tacos, some enchiladas. You will you will not do it. Uh, you will not do it wrong. Go if you want to try it, and I've done this too with some uh, Indian spice Indian dishes like uh, chicken tikka masala. Oh yes, it goes great with that. So there's a lot of room here to experiment. So I encourage you to do that. For the cheese, you already heard me say it, and I'm going to uh, do it right here in this tasting. Um, I'm going to recommend a, a nice cheddar cheese, medium uh, or, or, or mild to medium cheddar cheese. And I have here an apple smoked cheddar cheese that I'm going to try with my pale ale here and I'll let you know how that goes. This is a very smoky cheddar cheese. Oh yes. Oh, that was perfect. It kind of brought a second wave of the smokiness of the of the cheese towards the back there wow that was amazing yeah great pairing there this is like i said this is a, a an apple smoked cheddar cheese but any kind of medium or mild cheddar cheese will go great with sierra nevada pale ale now you know i always leave you a nice secret below in the description as far as a dessert pairing and today is no different look down there look for your your gift and something that will definitely make you look like a connoisseur. Now I know a lot of you have probably had Sierra Nevada Pale Ale before, to the point that you know some people may argue this is not even craft beer anymore. It's it's you know the the most famous of all craft beers. Yes, but we still like to call it craft beer. So leave me some comments in the description before below. Have you had it? Have you paired something? Let's talk about it. Let's learn together. I love to you know read your comments and, and, and interact with you about all the different beers that we're tasting here. So there you have it, my friends. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge here uh, as we both become connoisseurs. Maybe not exactly about discovering Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, or maybe you did. Oh, but maybe a little bit of history I gave you there, maybe a, a nice cheese to pair it with. Something I hope I, I offer you some value in this video. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to give me that thumbs up and uh, be on the lookout over the next few days when I release another great beer re uh, review video. And until then, enjoy. <laughs>